Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Devin if you're new here. Today I'm sharing what I would wear if I was going on a two-week European vacation. If you couldn't tell already, I am very into blue right now. So that is pretty much the color palette for my wardrobe. It's gonna be a lot of blues, a lot of whites, a lot of khakis, some pink thrown in there because you guys know me, I can't go a day without some type of pink. But I'm so excited to share this with you. If you guys are not subscribed, already you definitely should I post a ton of lifestyle content I live in San Diego and I just can't wait to film my entire summer so I I think you guys should join along it's a fun time it's a fun time the definition of a capsule wardrobe is a limited selection of interchangeable clothing pieces that complement each other these are often classic pieces that do not go out of style and primarily composed of neutral colors I definitely kept that all in mind while picking out these items I didn't want to have anything that didn't go with the other pieces and I think I did a good job. First category is tops. I have a few different ones but the staple top the white t-shirt. This one is from Mate the Label and it's really good quality. It's super light and breathable, but literally you could get these from Old Navy, from Target. The white short sleeve is just such a staple and definitely needs to be in your capsule wardrobe. Next, I have a few tops that would probably be perfect for dinner, like a fancier dinner. I have this bodysuit from Abercrombie & Fitch and then I also have it in black. I wear these all the time when I want to be be like a little bit more fancy and they have like this ruched front I love the way it looks and then the back is just like kind of sheer and you can kind of see through it with these cap sleeves but they go with literally everything every outfit I wear these with makes it look so much more elevated and you guys know I don't wear black too much there's just something about an all black outfit like when you're going out it's just too good it's too good to pass up so these are also a must. Finally in the category of tops I have a few tank tops so I have this one again for maybe more dressy occasions but also can be pretty dressed down as well. That's like just the joy of having tops like this because they can go with literally anything. I'm gonna throw in some outfits that I put together with these tops like different variations and you'll see it looks so good. This one is a little baby pink one from Abercrombie & Fitch. Also everything that I can find I will link below Below. And then these next two are tie sleeve tops from H&M. I have this white one that's more of a linen vibe so it's a bit more casual and relaxed. And then I have this one that's pretty ruched and then has kind of like a silky feel to it. It's definitely not silk but it feels like that. Oh, 100% polyester. But these tops are perfect for summer. I hate saying that you can dress everything up and down but it's just the truth. You can dress these up and dress them down. The next category is the long sleeve button down. You guys know I'm such a fan of the long sleeve button down and it, it until I die that will be one of my staple fits but I have this blue striped one from Jerf Avenue and I really like this one because the cut of it it's just like so blunt on the end and it has the slit. I love the way it fits. I think it's so cute and goes with a ton and then I also have this white one from Target I think it's pretty wrinkly at the moment because I did pluck this out of my laundry but it's super cute super breezy and has more of a linen-y feel whereas the Jerf Avenue one is a bit more thick material so this one is perfect for days when it's like super hot but you might just want something over your shoulders if you go inside or if you go like in a church or something like that I feel like I'm always bopping in and out of churches when I'm in like Paris or Rome that was literally all we did I've only been to both of those places two times why am I acting like I go there every weekend so I love Love this white one and you need one. Next I have this little sweater. European summers are unbelievably warm, hot, and I can't see myself needing this a ton but I also picked this out because it has holes in it so whenever I do wear it I'm never really hot. It's kind of a heavy material but with the holes literally all over the sweater I get pretty good airflow so I would wear this if I was going to dinner or I don't know if I went on a walk early in the 
morning before the sun was super like out but yeah just for safety if there's any like cold nights or something or like it sitting inside somewhere where it's really cold I would definitely bring this with me now we are on to my favorite part and that is the dresses you guys know I'm such a dress person so making a capsule wardrobe and only being able to pick out three dresses it kind of kills me but I'm gonna show you guys a hack that I found on TikTok to kind of multiply your dresses so first we all know and love this little silk slip dress I just personally love this and I think it really does just give a Amalfi Coast French Riviera I love this little slip dress the best part about dresses is you can also wear them as a top especially this one and as a skirt take a look on Poshmark because there's so many and of course you need like a white little frilly dress because they just fit the vibe of Italy so much and Europe in general I love this one from for love and lemons it's pretty pricey but I'm pretty sure they have these dresses that look exactly like this on like Verge Girl or like Princess Polly something like that so I'll link some similar ones down below that are at better price points but this one was worth the money I I love this one I feel like I'm gonna be in the French Riviera wearing this dress maybe meet my husband and then maybe run away to France the funniest thing about this video is I have zero plans of going to Europe this summer but I'm like wishful thinking that maybe something will come together so I'm making this video as if I'm going but I have no, no flights booked no plans to go but one can dream okay this is where the hack comes in I saw this girl who had a long dress it wasn't this one but we all love this one and she had another long dress from H&M that she just pinned up. So you know what I'm going to do with this dress is I'm going to wear it as a long dress. Even though I've already worn this before, I don't care about outfit repeating. She kind of just pinned it up underneath. Okay, obviously it wouldn't be this short, but it kind of looks like, you know, like a bubble on the bottom. And I would definitely do that with this dress because it's so cute. But I can only imagine the potential for it to be like a short dress with that Kind of tucked under look on the bottom so i'm gonna try that when i do like the try on portion of this and i can't wait to see how it comes out if it works um i don't think i would ever hem this dress because i just love it long maybe i would buy another one and hem it but we love this dress and everyone needs a good maxi dress so yeah maxi dresses are the ones you can do this trick with and you can make them different lengths so there is a little trick for you the last like clothing category is pants and I'll be honest, jeans in the summertime is a no for me. I will not participate in that. It's just too hot. But linen pants, on the other hand, are an absolute yes. So I have these. They are just from Old Navy. They are my tried and true. I've had them for about four years now. I obviously love them. They are so perfect. And before I had these, I had this exact pair, just another pair, because they are just such a staple and they are just so amazing. Like there's no pair of pants that will compare to these Old Navy linen pants. And they're so affordable as well. Well. next I have a pair of dress pants just for like walking around if we're having a day where we're moving around a lot I'd probably wear this with the t-shirt and then the blue Jerf Avenue button down I think that's such a cute outfit I do have to get these tailored and I think in my next little fashion video I am going to show all of my clothes before getting tailored and after because getting your clothes tailored is just game changer now for the shorts I have only two pairs of shorts actually this one isn't even really a pair of shorts it's a skirt with a slit obviously shorts underneath would feel comfortable walking around in it all day also would feel comfortable going to dinner with this this is one that I would wear with the black bodysuit and wear that to dinner with like some black booties I didn't include any shoes in this but I think that would be difficult for me to pick like three shoes anyways this is very cute goes with obviously everything that I have it could also look really cute with a white t-shirt and then the Jerf Avenue button down I think the white t-shirt slash tank top and Jerf Avenue button down unmatched it's just too good and last but not least I would have to bring the Abercrombie denim shorts these are my tried and true I wear these literally every day like I have been wearing these so much that they could probably stand up straight in the corner I definitely need to wash them but they are my favorite shorts and Abercrombie just knows their way around a pair of curve love shorts they're so good like I said I didn't include any shoes in this little capsule wardrobe but I did find my way around some accessories so the hair accessories that I would include first of all this one 
needless to say goes with everything and then I would include this one as well just to have a pop of color this was the little pink that I was talking about adding to every outfit and then finally I would add the little Amy J dupe ABC store claw clip. I don't even think it's a dupe. I think it's the exact same claw clip. It was just from the ABC store in Hawaii and much less expensive. So if you guys are looking for this, go to the ABC store, look online. They have them. They do have them for like $5. So there you go. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope that I can make it to Europe sometime soon. Maybe this summer, fingers crossed, like everyone pray for me. Send up a collective prayer to the man upstairs that I can make it to Europe this summer because I mean, I will survive if I don't, but like I wanna go. Like obviously the girls wanna go to Europe. If you're watching to this point, comment this emoji. I really appreciate you for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time. Bye!